El que anda de noche con cualquier bulto se espanta. That's a famous New Mexico saying. He who is out at night is easily frightened. Andres Segura and Moises Luján were good friends. They went to our Diego Saros Catholic School, which was near the Old Town Plaza in Las Vegas. The park in the plaza was the scene of many hangings back in the Old West. It is claimed that some of the ghosts of the poor devils who were hanged at the plaza appeared each night moaning and groaning about their misdeeds. The old nuns who ran the school were pretty strict. They reminded the children about the consequences of sinful ways and they themselves, that they themselves could end up like those lost souls. They told the kids to keep away from the Gainas River, which is nearby, not to go to the cemetery on the hill and to beware of dark strangers. And there's a Moises went anyway. The two rough and tough boys loved to go to the billiard palace on the east side of the river on Friday nights. The that palace was at least three or four miles away, but to them it didn't matter. They enjoyed going there. The two boys lo also liked to play pranks. One day, they waited impatiently behind a building for the old hermit who lived in a cave at Hermit's Peak to come into town. The hermit would go into Las Vegas once a month to buy beans, dried meat, and hard tack biscuits. Once in a while, he'd buy hard candy or kiloncillo as a treat. As the hermit rounded the corner of the building, dressed in his long gray robe and hood, walking with a staff, the boys jumped out and yelled, They scared the daylights out of the old guy. I'll get you, my criados! The hermit yelled out, raising his fist as the two scampered away. Oh, it was great fun for Andres and Moises, but everyone was asked to pay their dues. They used to say in the old days, what goes around comes around. One day, it certainly did. It was a bright sunny Friday morning when Andres and Moises got together at their usual meeting place up down at the, by the plaza. They decided to ditch school and spend the day exploring and having fun. The boys first took a hike up to Cristón Hill, traveling through the galley and the arroyos. They went all the way to the old Mount Calvary Cemetery where they sat on the tombstones and checked out the graves. At the end of the day, they traveled to the billiard palace where they spent hours playing pool. It was quite dark when they finally decided to head back home. On the way home, they joked and laughed about firing rocks with their slingshots at the birds and bullying some of the little boys at school. The mischievous boys crossed the bridge over the Dainas River into Old Town. They hadn't noticed it was a darker night than usual until they got near the Kiva Theater where silent films were shown. Dracula with Bala Nogosi was the main feature. Since it was late, the theater had already closed for the day. As they walked by, they noticed an old woman standing near a building, leaning on a cane. She had long white hair, a black thin shawl, and a black dress. What time is it, boys? She asked as he walked by. Andres looked at his make-believe watch and answered laughing. It's half past twelve, old lady. Don't you think it's time that you boy, both of you should be home in bed? She asked. Andres and Moises snickered and kept on walking. They began to feel uneasy. At times they heard footsteps as if someone were following close by. So every now and then they would look back. But there was no one there. Neither boy spoke up out his fear, not wanting the other to think he was scared. After all, they had a reputation to uphold. Instinctively, they both walked faster up the forbidden road. For some reason, the old woman stared at fighting them. Finally, Moises broke the silence by asking Andres, Don't you think the old lady was kind of weird? Andres, not e eager to answer, said, Yeah? What business is, it of, business is it of hers to ask why we're not in bed? As the two boys rounded the corner of the Romero Mercantile building, they felt more comfortable. So they slowed down their pace. Andres and Mo Moises' mouths fell open. There stood the old woman next to the building, leaning on her cane. She asked them, what time did you boys say it was? Now they were frightened. They didn't care to pretend they were brave. They ran so fast it seemed as their feet, though their feet didn't even touch the ground. There was no way on earth the old woman could have gone there before them. Without thinking or saying a word, each one took off in a different direction. It was each man for himself. Besides, this, this was a life and death situation. It was, this was no time to be a hero. Moises ran up the hill toward his home. Andres yelled as he tripped and fell to the hard ground. Moises didn't stop, he just kept running. Andres looked at the old, wo at the old woman as she moved toward him. 
like a crazy person, he picked himself up quickly and screamed on the way to home. Dogs began to bark, which added to his dilemma. The lights went on at his home as he neared the house. His father came out to see what was wrong with his panic stricken son. Andres yelled out, Someone's chasing me! There's no one there, he called, his father said. Andres immediately became silent. He looked around, there wasn't anyone there. He quietly entered his home as his father laughed and teased him. Then sternly his father added, By the way, son, we've got some talking to do. Sister Francis Borgia contacted me today. Apparently you weren't at school, so you got some explaining to do. For now, go to your room where you should have been in the first place. Remember, son, what goes around comes around. They say everyone's really surprised at the transformation the boys went through that night. They would get up very early and go to school and stay in school. They never bullied anyone again. They even helped the nuns with chores. But do you know what the biggest change for Andres and Moises was? They were never, ever out again after the sun went down. They were scared to death of the dark, being out in the town at night, and most of all, ghostly strangers. <laughs>